robot vacuum cleaner and it's often said for $100 but is this entry level robot any good or it's not worth and it's better to spend more. I've been using a medium level $300 Ecovax robot vacuum for my apartment for more than a year now and in my opinion it's been the best investment I did in tech so far and I mean I test every day many tech gadgets but i honestly think it's a life changer and ecovax doesn't pay me to say that anyway for the new youtube studio i am building i wanted an automatic cleaner to drastically reduce the cleaning time and always ensure the best look but budget price was really important for this project i've been testing this 100 dollar robo vacuum for more than three months now and this is a great product but not for everyone many features cut to to make it affordable, make it or perfect or useless according to your needs. Let me explain. So what's up guys and welcome to a new episode here on Shade of Tech. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. But before we start for full disclosure, this robot was sent to me by two nights after my explicit request, so thank you. But I want to make clear that no, I'm not paid or sponsor in any way. And as always, all the opinion in this video are my own. The bot comes in a nice white and orange box. On top you can find a pretty clear instruction cardboard that shows all the operation you need to do and also all the instruction manual. This is the charging base with a built-in brush to clean and there is also a remote that you can use if you don't want to connect it to Google Home or Alexa or to the app. There are a total of four lateral brush, so two extra and also an extra filter. The bot itself is well packaged and really well protected but the black finish is really delicate in my opinion not the best choice for a cleaner that collect dust and I use it pretty hard and roughly and you can see all the signs the first thing you notice looking at this tiny robot is that it's pretty small compared to my Ecovats it's a little bit smaller but considering that it delivers the same battery really good but being smaller and shorter it can pass smaller paces and under smaller tunnels like under the couch where other robots cannot pass. I think that this is a premium feature. Even if it's so small, it has two lateral brush and I really like it because I think it works better than a single brush robot. Suction power is pretty powerful in this and up to 1800 pascal and you can set different suction power level in the go sound up. The main feature I always look for on a robot vacuum is mapping. Medium range vacuum robots have a turret with a scanner that creates a 2D map of the environment, being able to optimize the path according to its calculation and creating a uniform road that cleans better the floor by pushing the dust in one corner and it's very efficient and fast. Well, these $100 can't have mapping, can it? Well, it has it sort of. With the anti collision and the frontal bumper, it creates a map by bouncing on objects going randomly. And it's really a rough map, but it's better than enough. The problem here is that the robot doesn't use this map to create a smarter route because it wipes out the map and creates a new map from scratch every new cleaning. I don't see why that. I reached out to Tonight, but they didn't confirm the evolution of this mapping system. As the date of this video, the mapping is just for you to know where the robot passed and where it didn't pass. It still can return to the base once finished. It also supports anti-collision and anti-drop. Well, I put it really to the test in my garage, but it didn't hold up so well and it crashed multiple times. And as you can see, the dirt and scratches are all over. Now let's talk about the downside or more what we are giving up for the $100 price. The first is the mopping. There is no way to include a pretty decent battery and a water tank and make it so small. Also, it's a tangle-free suction because it doesn't have the carpet brush and it makes it really good for general dust and floor, but not so good for carpet. Also, the lack of active mapping makes every cleaning journey random and the result is that it takes much more time to complete the clean. I was able to complete my 100 square meter part and it was really stubborn but it took twice the time of my mapping Ecovacs robot. So here is a comparison side by side with the same route and you can see that the rip difference is pretty visible.
no protection layer of the HEPA filter so it will be dirty really really soon and you, you need to change it and easily hack it and add uh, some rubber material to preserve the filter. How good is to control everything with your voice? Well with this you can use Google Home and Alexa and you can set timers or routines in the Gosan app which is pretty standard but works very well. For $100 it's a pretty high set of features but at the end of the day is it worth it? Well considering the mapping and mopping products cost around $250 and $300 I think it's definitely a best buy product with similar features in my opinion yes it's worth it and if you are a budget great deal you give up mopping and mapping and carpet cleaning so it's not suggested if you have big homes or delicate uh, carpets not sure if they will improve this product or will probably make it second generation but i'm really really looking forward to that so this wraps up for today let me know what you guys think about this product if you have any question please leave a comment be sure to like or dislike this video it works as well comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one ciao